Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Hess, and I am a Power Platform developer. I create apps and Power Automates. Usually I work for the government. Um, I have done, I was a consultant before that. I was a project management consultant, but I just realized that a lot of questions are coming in. A lot of people are sending me emails, sending me questions. I will get back to you. I've just been a little busy, so give me a little bit of time. I'll get back to you. I don't mind if you send me, you know, a couple emails. You know, feel free to remind me of your question. Um, but today, what I wanted to go over was modal pop-ups. And when I say modal, I mean M-O-D-A-L, a modal pop-up. If we look up modal pop-ups in Google, you know, you can see different types of modal pop-ups. This one here has a, a dark background. Um, there's a nice circle icon, uh, circle here, image. Um, you know, just like a, a pop-up there, but it makes you focus on the center of the pop-up. So that's what a modal pop-up is. Um, another option is to use a blurred background when using a modal pop-up like this one here. So do we want to use a blurred background? Because that makes you focus more in on the, the main screen, the pop-up, or do you want to just darken the background, right? Do you just want to darken the background when you have your, your pop-up? So not only do I want to go over, you know, why you should do different things, but, but how we do that in Power Apps. So let's say we have a Power App with a simple form and a save button. Now, my preference is we're going to want to use what's called a context variable, not a global variable, because the context variable is only for this screen. So we only need to worry about uh, the pop-up on this screen, and then it resets on other screens. So... Let's insert a rectangle across the entire screen and it's going to be of color black so we want it to be completely dark and when you go to the color you can go to custom and you can lower the alpha value here so I'll probably zoom in right here or if we go um, if we go into the fill you can see this is um, zero 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 means no color so if we lower that alpha value to maybe 0.2 it does kind of darken things up and it, it, this is the transparency of that color. So maybe a 0.5 is kind of where we want it to be. And we'll, this is where you can make one decision. So a lot of modal pop-ups, you'll notice that they have curved um, rectangular borders. Some of them are, are more curved than others. So you can see the curve here on the corners. And on this one, you can see the curve. So I prefer to have curved borders. You could just add another simple rectangle. So we could just do a simple rectangle and have um, you know, our pop-up this way. But I like to use a button. So if we use a button and we erase this and we change it to display mode view only, and then we add a border radius. I like to do this. I like to add a, a large border radius, maybe a 50. So you can add like a large border radius and maybe change the color to white. And then we can, uh, you know, we have our nice background. If you saw in one of the examples that we looked up on Google, they had another circle. So let's see if we add a circle. They had this as part of their modal pop out, you know, Kind of adding a you know a different look to it, kind of you know changing it. Um, you know, if we changed it to the color white, people wouldn't even notice that it's two different um, shapes, right? It, they kind of blend together. So you can kind of create your own shapes. Also, another thing you may want to think about is instead of having a black dark background, do we want a blurred background? Um, you know, you can look up on Google. I looked up a, a free blur picture, so you can find a, a free picture here. So when you go to the website, it does say it's under a uh, free license model. So it is free license model. So let's say we upload that picture. We in upload a media image. And we choose the blur image and we bring it in. Let's see if we can, you know, kind of change the size of it. I believe we could say stretch. We can stretch it out. Then once we have the image in here, we can change to, we go to the image we can change to the transparency property and we can change this to maybe uh, 0.2. There we go. And maybe we pull the other rectangle back to the front. All right, so I have my modal background set up. I'm just gonna insert a couple more buttons. And I know this is a simple concept, but I feel like 
you know, we can really perfect uh, these modal pop-ups. So we can have a cancel and a submit. And then insert a text. Are you sure you wish to save this data? Now you can put whatever you want, but I'm just going to put something nice and simple. And we'll center it in our modal pop-up. There's more things we could do. We could build this with HTML and put some backgrounds in there. If you wanted to, you know, just have a simple shadow, very simple shadow, you can copy paste and pull this behind. So reorders, send backwards. Put this behind your first picture and then change the color of it to maybe like a little bit of a gray. So that way it kind of looks 3D. And maybe we'll, we'll adjust the X and the Y. 68, there we go. So now it kind of looks like 3D. It has a little shadow background on there. Um, so now I'm gonna take everything and I'm going to group it. I'm just gonna group it and I'm gonna call it, um, rename group, I guess modal. We'll just call it modal. All right, so we have our group modal. I'm gonna change the visibility of it to a variable name. So variable uh, show modal. All right, so we do have a bunch of red X's right now because we haven't set up that variable yet. So on my save button, instead of submit form, I'm gonna do update context variable modal of oh, variable show modal. And I'll just do an exclamation mark variable show modal. So as we click on it, it turns on and off. So now when I click on it, it pops up. In the cancel button, we'll do the same thing. On select, we'll do update context. Variable show modal. Just do the same thing twice. But now for the submit button, I will actually submit the form. So on select, we'll submit form, form one. So we have a very simple modal pop out that we created. So now when we hit save, um, we can you know ask the user again, are you sure you wish to submit this data? We could even display the data in another way. We could actually display each of the you know form fields. So data card, value one dot select um, dot text. And you know, I didn't put anything in there, but if I did, then when we hit the save button, oh, we would probably want to group it and it then shows up. So we would take our group, group them together, change the visibility to variable show modal. And you know, we can, you know, create this all the way out. So for this um, data card value, we could say this is the title, space, and this, and probably we would want the font to be a little bit smaller. We could change the font to be, you know, a little bit smaller. And we could have all of our fields there so they could be sure that's what they want to submit. I have done this a few times. Another option is maybe modal pop-ups you don't want um, right on, on this screen. Maybe you want a modal pop-up when you first come to your screen. So let's say we're on screen one and we have a modal pop-up here. So let's say we have a rectangle. So this is my home screen right now on this app. Let's say we had a modal pop-up and it's a custom color and this is point or 50, I guess. And then we had another, let's do button cross here and change that, change this to view, color is white and the border radius is a good bit bigger. We could then have a text here that says, you know, welcome, welcome. And we could get user dot uh, full name, give it a little bit of space in there.
you know, we can fill it out and have a modal pop up right at the very beginning. Welcome, Andrew Hess. And you know, you could say, you know, this is your company. Uh, you can, you know, kind of put your own logo in there, your own theme behind your power apps. And then when they click the button, there'll be a button here in the center and it'll just say close. This is another uh, idea that you could do for your power app. So now we have a modal pop-up. It's just uh, this, this rectangle, this button label and this button. Uh, rename group modal, home modal and the visibility or we'll do the close button first on select we'll just say update context variable show home modal and we'll do the same thing variable show home modal and then for the visibility of this group we just set up the same thing uh, variable show home modal if you want it to show up on home start right we actually want it to be not variable show modal until we click on it then it turns off so every time we turn on this screen for the first time uh, not every time we come to the screen but for the first time we start the app it's gonna say welcome you know and give you a close button so let's just go ahead and publish I'll show you how that works so we have my app that I just published when we started up it starts up with the modal pop-up in here. You know, you can have your theme. You know, you can give the user some instructions. You have a modal pop-up. You click close. Therefore, now the modal pop-up is gone while they're in the app. They can go into a screen, come back. It's not going to show up. Then when they test, you know, that you have another modal pop-up. This one has the um, shadow. I didn't have the shadow on the first one. And you can fill out your other information. So I just wanted to make a quick video on modal pop-ups. There's lots of little things in there that you can do to, to customize your app. You know, do you want to do a blur background? Do you want it to be dark? Do you want it to be different colors? You know, you can make your modal more uh, different shapes than just square. Um, there's lots of little options. I, I do recommend, you know, go to Google, check out what, uh, what they have. You know, check out their um, modal pop-ups that they have, you know, blur backgrounds. Um, all kinds of different things you can do, you know, a lot shorter radiuses on the corners. Um, so that was my video on modal background. So thank you all for watching. My name is Andrew Hess. Uh, I will get back to you with all your questions, your emails. Uh, just give me a little bit of time. I'm trying to catch up on everything. Thank you.